All right, Ian, good news for, for game preservation about something I was not aware of, and I don't think a lot of people probably were. A interesting Sega Master System game was preserved uh, this past weekend. Uh, game Day Check Kotsu Anzen from 1987. It is a Sega Master System game about... What's the translation? Let's check with the game traffic safety. That's exactly it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, this was a game that was... Uh, produced by Tokyo Marine, and uh, here's some machine translation about like what it was for. Um, they're a company that was aiming to become comprehensive security service industry, uh, providing peace of mind to the general public through spread of property and casualty insurance while what? preventing accidents themselves. It's an important social mission, and it's related uh, related to the safety of disa uh, of disaster prevention. Okay. Um, the project was created mainly for the purpose of being widely used in traffic safety campaigns, uh, kindergarten, nursery school, as well as community wide traffic safety campaigns such as residents associations, neighborhoods associations, children's associations. It can be displayed. Um, it's a cute little game with uh, three different main modes. Um, the modes break down into uh, a driving sense test, uh, you're the best ty uh, driver, and Pion Kichi's Adventure. Um, Pion Kichi's Adventure looks to be uh, something like a side scrolling platformer. Um, probably something to actually get the kids interested in playing something. Um, the. Uh, and it looks, or maybe, yeah, no, it look, maybe it's overhead. There looks to be a driving game, and then there looks to be kind of like the main thing, which was probably used at most of the, uh, you know, uh, places it was demoed. Um, the, the, uh, sh shit, the driving sense test, which shows with sprites a bunch of like, the gameplay shows a bunch of like traffic scenarios happening like a uh, car passing a bicycle or stopping at a certain place, and okay. you have to decide whether or not that was... Legal? Yeah, whether or, or not proper? that was proper or improper, legal or illegal. Um, so, yeah. It, this comes from an interesting time where people, I think, were looking at video game systems and saying, well, what else can we do with these? What else can we teach? Okay. Um, there is also... We talked about it. Oh, God, it's going to slip my mind now. Um the Konami, remember when we talked about I think the Konami Space School, yes. the adapter for the the Famicom, yes, and uh, and, and and all that. Uh, there's a game out for that that I haven't looked into, um, but there's a there's a safety game for I think like a like an oil refinery or something like that. Yeah, so we brought that up. We brought it up. So you know there was a point in time where they were like, how can we make like, how can we use this to teach people about safety? Safety. But it's interesting because, like, like I'm watching this. It, it was on a uh, Japanese TV sh game show in 1988. By the way, this is from MS, SMSpower.org. Um, and an anonymous per uh, was an anonymous person that dumped this. But um, they show, like, there's a bicycle crossing the street and a car almost hits him. So it's almost like driving safety, but it's geared towards kids, I guess, to watch out for pedestrian traffic as well. It, it's, this is, like, a very interesting concept, I guess, that they did. Um this this uh, well it's it's a Mark III, a uh, game which was uh, you know Master System. Real back uh, backstory on the history of this card itself. So it's not clear. The, uh, it looked like it was either two hundred or three hundred of these produced. Right. They're not entirely <clears throat> sure here. Um, so the last copy, according to this article here, was on before this one that new one showed up. It, it showed up in, in two thousand nine. A loose cartridge surfaced and was auctioned on Yahoo Japan's Yahoo Japan. Um, no bids were placed on it because uh, the initial price was going to be thirty-three thousand dollars. It Jesus. appears the cartridge was eventually sold outside of the auction to a private collector for an unspecified amount of money. We were aware of the auction at the time, but were unable to reasonably bid such an amount. We opted out of it. The collector who purchased the cartridge at the start of two thousand did not intend to share its c contents, but posted one screenshot of the title screen on their website. Ooh, Ooh. thanks, thank you so much for for showing us uh, nothing about the game. Yeah. So in December. Excuse me. In October 2019, another copy uh, resurfaced on Yahoo Auctions. What was more interesting that it came with the previously unseen contents: a briefcase, a Master System console, and the two large manuals. Yeah. That's, so like this that's is cool. this is how you carry it around you and show it, it off. around to show people. That's fantastic. With 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 like uh, that's like a heavy duty like case. Like yeah. One of those like ones uh, like aluminum ones, whatever they're made out of. Oh yeah. 
Um, initial price was 3.5 million yens. No bids were placed over a month period. And eventually, the seller decided in mid-December to turn it into a regular open auction, starting at one yen. We decided to bid, gathered funds, and we won the auction for 521,000 yens. Now, what is that converted? I have no idea what that's converted to right now. 52,000, I think. $4,800. Oh, five. Okay. So, sorry. I, I put the decimal place in the wrong spot. We'll just say five yeah, grand. 5,000. Yeah. Five grand for something that at this point is one of a kind in terms of its the entire accoutrement of, of, of items offered. Yeah. Not just a cart uh, there. So, they pre preserved it. Uh, it's available there. Um, and you could uh, you can check it out. It's adorable because there's like a bunch of animal creatures. There's like uh, like like mice and and and, and pigs and, and other things, but there's little cars and there's a little third person little shot screenshot where you're driving and the person's sticking their head out the window for some reason. It, it looks like it's humorous, but I guess gets a point across about this is dangerous stuff to do uh, for for some of this. I don't know. I, I gotta. I gotta like. I think that that screenshot of the the driving is probably the you're the best driver game. You're the best driver. <laughs> so um, if you want, you were trying to. If, if you wanted to give credit <clears throat> earlier, uh, it wasn't a uh, anonymous person. So it was SMS. It was no NPO Game Preservation Society auction was, is responsible for the auction handling, dumping, scanning, and cleaning, transport, and translation. Um, there was a bunch of different uh, people who donated and covered thirty percent of the total auction price, and then Omar C. Brock of SMS Power covered the rest of it. And yeah. There and there's already an unofficial English translation uh, yep. for it. So you can go so, play. So you can, down, you can download this really bizarre looking game that now I almost want like a, a repro on an actual Sega Master System cartridge. It's pretty neat. To play it. And it, it's just amazing that this stuff, it's, it seems like it's been more and more the past like year and a half, two years. It's almost like the SimCity and this one sort of kicked off a new era, right? It seemed like more of these things have been happening. Yep. So we just we, keep we, getting new cool we, stuff. We talk about it almost every month or every other month we talk about it. I mean, the freaking, the, the NES game, uh, wrestling game, WCW one that was unreleased. And that there's, was there's, within the past year. Yeah, there's been, there's been more and more of these and this is fantastic. I think, I think people are finally getting them, either they're getting the message or there's been more obviously crowdfunding to get these and maybe we're shaming some of these people as well to release this stuff, which I don't mind doing that. I've had a conversation with someone who said maybe you shouldn't do that. I was like, hey, if we're not getting it anyway, it's not going to hurt. I mean, they're, if they're locking up forever anyway, this person had their copy locked up since 2009. Yeah. This person. And now their copy is, is thankfully not going to be worth that much compared to this one. This is the full set. Right. So, so that's what you get. You know, so anyway, it's, it's, it's adorable. Check it out uh, there.